Hello and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another um, ranking video for video game characters by quality of their hugging ability. So I've mentioned this before, but when I play video games in the back of my mind, for some reason, I'm always considering like, would that character give a good hug? And it occurred to me that other people probably don't think about this because I don't know why I think about it to begin with. So I wrote down my rankings for some of my favorite video games. Um, I've already posted videos for Dragon Age Origins and Mass Effect 1. Today's video is for Horizon Zero Dawn and I picked this one today because um, they are making an announcement about the sequel tomorrow. So Sony Play, I think, has an announcement and they indicated it's going to be all about Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West, which is the sequel. And I'm super excited for it. Um, this video game is beautiful. The characters are beautiful. And let's talk about who the best hugger in the game is. It should come as no surprise that number one is Aloy. 10 for 10 for Aloy. Technically, I don't actually know how good she is at hugging. I don't know how much practice she got with Rost, but I have to say, after the events of Horizon Zero Dawn, she deserves a hug, and you should just give her a hug. And she's good at everything she does, so frankly, whether or not she's actually 10 for 10 doesn't really matter because she deserves the hug, and everyone should just hug her already. So 10 for 10 for Aloy. She's good at everything. She's definitely good at this. Okay. Number two is Varl, the 9 for 10. Um, the Nora Braves might eschew steel, but Varl is packing guns. This boy is good at hugging. He might have some hesitance at hugging someone who is holy or, um, maybe just destroyed his entire understanding of his religion and his culture and his history, but once he goes for the hug, it's a good hug. Look at those arms. Varl, 9 for 10 good hug, no regrets. Okay. Number three is going to be Erend with an 8 of 10. Now his quality of hug is going to depend on his confidence level that day as well as his uh, level of sobriety. Sometimes it's less of a hug and more of a carrying him home from the bar, but afterward he's always really humble and thankful and just like really nice about the whole thing and he'll generously hug you um, regardless of his situation. So he is a friend worth hugging as much and as often as he needs. So that is Aaron, 8 for 10. Coming in uh, tied with Aaron is Teb, also 8 out of 10 for Teb gentle heart, a kind soul, and a tender hug. I heartily endorse putting your arms around this sweet, sweet man. Okay, coming in at number five is Talana with a six out of ten. She does that thing where she tries to hug you while simultaneously touching you as little as possible, like, you know, getting your arms around but holding yourself back. That's Talana. Um, she does get better with practice and as she gets to know you better, but at the start, it's really not as good of a hug. So, Talana, 6 out of 10. Coming in right behind Talana is Avad with a 5 out of 10. Um, his policies as Sun King might be pretty touchy feely, especially considering the previous reign but his arms go as limp as an overcooked noodle. Like, is he hugging you, or are you just propping him up? 
I, he has good intentions. I do like Avad. Long live the Sun King. But a 5 out of 10 for hugging for him. Behind him is Tirsa with a 3 out of 10. Like, yeah, she stood by while a literal baby was thrown out into the wilderness. But she also turned that baby into a religious prop. So, yeah, like, you can hug Tirsa, and Tirsa will hug you, but, like, at what cost to your mental well being? Okay, behind Tirsa at number eight is Petra. Petra gets a two out of ten because her hug is not a hug so much as she punches you in the arm, you know? And it definitely leaves a bruise. But you do feel better afterwards, so like it's not a 0 for 10, it's a 2 out of 10. Side note, Petra, if you ever become real, call me. Okay, number 9, Vanasha. Her hugs are great, but you wouldn't know, because she's never hugged you, and she probably never will. Sorry. 1 out of 10 for Vanasha. And behind her at 10, though not the last one, we have Nell. 0 for 10. I don't know why you would hug Nell. Okay, in 11th place we have Rost. He also got a 0 for 10. Because hugging an outcast is against tribal law, and he won't do it. Even if the hug is between two outcasts. It doesn't matter that the matriarchs aren't here and can't see you. It's against the rules and he's not going to do it. Not even once. Sorry. And in last place we have Silence. He gets a negative 10 out of 10. It's not that I thought he'd be open to hugging, it's just that I didn't expect him to have quite as cutting a remark while rejecting the hug. Negative 10 out of 10 for silence. I look forward to seeing you again, buddy, in the Forbidden West. Okay, so those are my rankings of the Horizon Zero Dawn characters by their quality of hug, and I cannot wait to see all of them in the new game, and if you love Horizon Zero Dawn, I would love for you to talk to me about that. Okay. Thank you to my very generous supporters. It means a lot to me. Thank you to the Groucho, to Chris, 